Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back after another victory. Ah, oh, it is good to see the return of this beautiful institution because we knew exactly what we were going to get served. And we got served a full free course meal and a full free points from the King Power Stadium. Nice game. Nice game. I know people are going to be annoyed about the nature of the performance, the scoreline, like we only won 2-1 and everything. A lot of people, myself included, were saying 3-1, 4-1, 3-0, 4-0. We didn't really get that. But uh, I'm not really that fussed because we won. And it's also straight after the international break. We remember hearing about the dilemma going into this game with Lavia having a little knock, Caicedo and Enzo only having 48 minutes from returning to England before playing in this game. And we didn't really know how that was going to work out for us. And we don't really do well in games after the international break anyway. So if you're offering me a W, I'm taking it and I'm running personally. Like, look, yeah, we should have had other goals. Which, all in all, shows how much we dominate this game. And Leicester didn't offer us a damn thing. Like, we everything Leicester fans told me going into this game seemed to just come out. They were worse in the second half. We had the whole left-hand side to ourselves to do whatever we wanted with. And Cucurella and, um, what's his name, Jal Felix were absolutely sourcing on that side of the pitch. We got a good early goal, which we needed with Leicester City's tactics because all these men were trying to do was just kick our players. And I could really just go on a tangent about how they should have been down to 10 men and indeed he should have been sent off. And I think Sumare or whoever tackled Jao Felix should have been off as well. But we're not Arsenal over here. So we don't care. We don't really care like that. But yeah, it was good to get the early goal. Shout out to Nicholas Jackson, a man who I have said has a great argument to be the second best striker in the league because who else is really realistically having an unassailable argument against him except Haaland? I will wait. Let me know in the chat. Nicholas Jackson has been on fire this year, but he's taken it up a level this season. That goal was everything Jackson's great at. Determination, strength, the ability to beat a defender, and then the finish. And that is the one thing that he's added this season, the clinical finish, because he never really had that last season. He has shown improvement, level upon level, he has shown improvement. But it's not even just him. I could talk about Nicholas Jackson. Benoit Badia Shile, where have you been? Where have you been? The passing, the dictating of play, the tackles, the recovery. This was like Graham Potter Badia Shield. This was 22. 23 Badia Shield back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere because we have missed you, man. This season, it's got to a point where I've been like, who is this guy? I, I don't know who this Badia Shield is. I know who this guy is. I just need you to show your face a few more times this year just so I know that you're truly back. Jal Felix, much more effective. Good with his take-ons. Um, good with his decision-making. The defensive work rate as well is there. And that's exactly why he might slowly be building a case to start. I've, I'm saying slowly because I do have to take into account the nature of this opposition too. But it is also still a Premier League team. We can't talk about it like it's Conference League and it's FC Noah or something. No, this is a Premier League side. And he performed really well. Build on that. Because when it was Newcastle's B team in the cup, he looked like the worst player on the pitch. This was a much better performance from him. And of course, Enzo Fernandez, so much better in this game. So much better. The passing was better. The decision making was better. The link up with Noni in the first half, the link up with Palmer, Jackson, sensational. Ends with a goal and an assist, man of the match award, and well deserved to him as well. Shout out to Enzo Fernandez. He had a good game. All you man who think I have an agenda against him, I don't. Play good football and I will praise you. I say that for all these players. And Enzo Fernandez is another one too. Same energy applies to him. But we were by far and away the better team. We just didn't really like flex our muscles like we would have ex expected us to do so. And I don't really mind that because, like, yeah, we can have ugly performances and still grind it out. This would have been another game that we lost last season or we would have dropped points in. 
you remember last time we played Leicester? We only beat them because they went down to 10 men. This time, I mean, arguably, they should have gone down to 10 men, but they didn't. And we still made the most of it. That is what I want to see from this team. Really, really good performance from the boys. And this is the first game back out of what is a very good run for us. We face Aston Villa next week, which is going to be a tricky match for us. But it's a big six-pointer if we can get the three points in that game. Then every other game before the end of the year should put us in a very good position. Because I'm not really worried about anybody else except that Aston Villa game. And Villa aren't even looking all that anyway. These guys just drew to Crystal Palace. These guys have one win in their last five in the Premier League. They're, they're not looking good. And they will be going into a Champions League game against Juventus before this. Meanwhile, we're just rotating and throwing the B team against Heidenheim. So we really should be taking advantage of this run of games and the form that Villa have. And I expect us to do that as well. Next week, you're going to have a fitter Caicedo. You're going to have a fitter Enzo. Lavia should also be much sharper. Um, hopefully Sancho will be sharper as well because Noni was very frustrating again. First half, I thought he was pretty good. Second half, oh boy. Second half was really, really frustrating from him. The more the game progressed, the worse it seemed that he was playing. And he could have probably been hooked off a little bit earlier. Like we were still doing the late subs thing again. We're still doing late subs. You're, you're seeing... Um, Matuweke coming off late, just seeing subs after the second goal. But we won. So I'm not even really delving into that too tough. It's okay. It's okay. Like we played well. We got the right result. So we keep it stepping and we keep it moving. Like in a couple games' time, we won't even remember this performance as long as we keep the results going. And that's all that we need to keep doing. So take this result to Aston Villa and cook because as things stand we are still in third place arsenal might have given us a bit of a fright towards the end of their game because nottingham forest did absolutely nothing but spread their cheeks for them but they didn't get that fourth goal typical arsenal falling short of the mark so it falls back into our hands we just have to keep doing our thing and keep getting our results because i think as things stand we can't drop out the top four now newcastle yeah, Newcastle's the only team closest to us. They're on 18 points. We're on 22. So it's all good. It is all good. Just keep doing our job. But guys, it's the end of another match review. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Big up to every single one of you that's locked in. Let me know all your thoughts. Like, subscribe. Super thanks if you guys want to be a part of the Super Chat Lottery. That's still running until the end of the month. And yeah, take care. Like, subscribe. Bun Pochettino and up the Chelsea. Up the damn.